Welcome to this video for N4 Electrotechnics, and this is module two. And we'll be looking at a shunt connected motor, which is connected to a faceplate starter. And in this video, we're going to be calculating the resistance connected in series with the armature. A 7.5 kilowatt, 220 volt shunt connected motor is started using a face plate starter. The motor has an efficiency of 93%. The motor has an armature resistance of 0.4 ohms and a shunt field resistance of 100 ohms. If the overloads are set at 135% of the full load current, calculate the value of the starting resistance. And this is for our base plate starter. Now, before we start the calculation, just a quick reminder for a shunt connected motor, the field winding is connected in parallel to the armature. Current is drawn from the supply the armature draws armature current, and a small amount of current goes through the shunt winding. We have some armature resistance inside the armature, and our shunt resistor is called our shunt. A reminder of the construction and operation of a faceplate starter, it has three resistors connected in series to the armature assembly of the machine. We have the uh, position arm, which is in the off position, we have the no volt relay and the overload relay, which are our protection devices. Then you'll notice that we have this armature assembly connected in shunts because it's a shunt motor. So to limit current at start, we need to determine the value of these resistors connected in series with the armature assembly. So let's just simplify this by drawing our three resistors that we need to calculate. And this is connected in series to the motor armature assembly and your armature is drawing armature current. Okay, so the formula we're using in order to calculate the resistance start will be the terminal voltage divided by IA max, which includes the overload set. Um, mine is the armature resistance. We want to disregard this armature resistance over here in order to calculate the three resistors in series. Okay, so how are we going to do this? You'll notice that we are given the efficiency of 93%. So in order to calculate the input power, we take the output power of 7.5 kilowatts multiplied by 1,000, divide by 0.93, and that gives us an input power of 8,064,516 watts. The input power is larger and the output power is smaller. Now that we have the input power, we can go ahead and calculate armature current under normal operating conditions. And for a shunt motor, IA is equal to IL minus I shunt. So therefore, it'll be the input power divided by the terminal voltage less the uh, current through the shunt winding, which is V shunt over R shunt. Okay, if we substitute all those values in there, our armature current under normal conditions is 34,455 amps. But you'll notice we need to substitute IA max. So what is the maximum amount of current that will pass through this armature assembly? Well, to determine that, we take our overload setting of 135%, divide by 100 times the normal armature currents under normal operating conditions. And therefore, IA max would be 46,514 amps. Now we can go ahead and substitute all these values into our formula the terminal voltage of 220 volts divided by IA max less the armature resistance implies that the start resistance here should be 4,33 ohms. Okay, thank you very much for watching this video for N4 Electrotechniques.